every county, which shows that across the board, uh, in the suburban areas and even in the very rural areas, they rejected the Republican agenda and they say we want someone who's going to represent us. And that's what they did. And I'm, I'm proud to say we now have Congresswoman-elect Kathy Hochul. Do you have any sense yet of when she'll be sworn in and also um, what will happen with the Erie County Clerk's position then? Uh, well, the swearing in I don't believe can happen until the votes are certified. And that cannot occur until all of the absentee and military ballots have been counted. Uh, they may allow her to go to Washington and participate in things, but I don't think she can be officially sworn in until then. With regards to the clerk's office, uh, I assume she'll be resigning soon, and then the governor has the opportunity to appoint an interim clerk, and there will have to be a special election in November, the same time I run for county executive, to fill the remainder of Kathy's term, which would be another uh, three years. Okay, are there any names floating about yet about who might be tapped for that seat? Uh, not really. I mean, there's a few people who I, I know have expressed interest, but uh, I know Dennis Gabrzak has expressed interest. Uh, a couple of town supervisors have expressed interest. But once again, it's the governor's call. The governor doesn't have to fill it. He could just say, I'm not going to fill it. Let's have a special election and let the uh, deputy clerks who's there, there right now, like John Krangle from the town of Tonawanda, run it. He may, in, he may uh, put in John Krangle, who's been a hard worker and a good deputy clerk. You really don't know. It's the governor's call. What did you hear from supporters as you were standing out in the crowd and, and they were waiting for her to, to come up and speak and then they were cheering? You know, how would you describe the crowd tonight? Well, the crowd is energized. Uh, we knew going into tonight that we had a great candidate, a great message, and the people were responding to it. But until you actually count the votes, you're always a little leery. But when the first numbers started coming in, uh, not, not with the poll numbers, when we were seeing the percentages coming in during the day, they were good numbers for us. The numbers were good in the areas we needed to be. They were a little lower in the areas that Corwin needed them to be good at. And that was, that, was, that was a good feeling throughout the day. And then when we started seeing the returns, and Kathy was winning every county, including Orleans County and Wyoming County, where Democrats never win countywide, we knew it was going to be a big night. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us. Have a good evening. You too, Denise. Okay, keep uh, live for more updates from buffalonews.com.